On today's show, Social Media Camp. And Paul Ballstein meets a woman who loves to sail solo. And Mae Cuthbert gets the buzz on the local quilting bee. All that and much more on Go Island. Go Island is brought to you by German Auto Import Network. Hello and welcome to Go Island. We are at my favorite bookstore in the whole world, Russell Books, with one of my favorite people in the world, John Crouch. You started with your walk, Victoria, hike, Victoria, cycle, Victoria books, but this book is a very special, very personal book. John Crouch, just, uh, we're at the book launch right now at Russell Books. Tell us the, tell us where this journey began. Um, well, it began in my mind about 15 years ago, perhaps more. I wanted to cycle from Whitehorse down to Victoria, to my home, and it took me about 15 years to, to organize it. So that's what I did. I, uh, you know, boxed my bike up, uh, flew up to Whitehorse in the summer, July actually, of 2011, and rode back in um, a little over three weeks. And 2,500 kilometers in 21 days. I, I can't, I personally can't even imagine. As I was reading the book, I, I literally wanted to yell into the chapters, just stop, <laughs> take a day off. But- uh, I did, I took three days off actually. <laughs> I know, but it wasn't enough. No. But you know what's amazing? First of all, can I just tell you, this is such a good read. Ask my husband, who's here tonight, how much sleep I got last night. Yes, I was up till one o'clock in the morning reading this last night, John Crouch. It had rained throughout the night and was still drizzling when I cycled out of the motel's courtyard. I felt well rested and was looking forward to riding on the edge of the wild expanse of the Spatsizi Plateau. Now we're gonna head out with Meg Cuthbert to find out what this year's social media camp has for youth. Social Media Camp will be happening May 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. They have world-renowned speakers, some incredible events. Uh, check it out. I'm going. That's right, I'm going. I'm going to be a social butterfly. Um, we're here at Russell Books in downtown Victoria with author, writer, uh, athlete, John. Um, John Crouch, you, you've done so many extraordinary things in your life, but I think what really got me with this book that I stayed up all night reading, thank you very much, is is that is your perseverance. Like you just, you, the courage and the perseverance you had. But I think what, what really touched me and moved me at, at points to tears was who you did this for. So can you tell us a little bit about who you rode uh, 2,500 kilometers in 21 days for? Uh, well, that would be Richard, my nephew. Um, it's sometimes difficult to talk about him. Um, he got early onset um, at Parkinson's when he was 34, and he's now 42. And I've just seen over the years, although he lives in England, I talk to him regularly, I've just seen and heard the, uh, the progression of this debilitating um, condition. So I decided I was going to do this right anyway, so what better than to do it to raise money and awareness for Parkinson's and for Richard. Richard, you probably noticed at the beginning of the book, it's dedicated to Richard. Six Highways to Home, it is such a good read. Everyone should get a copy of this, and I'll tell you why. It will change anything, any barrier that you have in front of you right now, any goal that you want to achieve, and you're like, oh, I can't do that. You read this book, and I'm telling you, you can do anything. At 70, what you did, what you accomplished, because there's so many barriers when you're going on a yes, trip like that. Yeah. But you know what? One thing amazed me is your dedication to do it solo. I loved that. I think that was a beautiful part of the book. You met a lot of friends, and you had a lot of fun, but you really set out to do this alone. I'm telling you, I couldn't do that. But uh, <laughs> our next interview is just about that kind of courage. Uh, there's a sailor who decided that she would sail not only solo, but take on some incredible adventures. Paul Ballstein, that story. People who decide to take on things like solo sailing and solo cycling 2,500 kilometers uh, across our province in 21 days, like John Crouch, amaze me. But you know who else amazes me? Are people like you. Uh, you are John's wife, who not only supported him in so many ways, but you show up a lot in the book. Uh, whether he's phoning you from a payphone or writing his last 
uh, stretch with you. What did it mean to you to send him off on such a courageous solo journey um, like this? What did it mean to you? For him to go off yeah. solo, riding back on the bike by himself, I was a little nervous. He would not take a cell phone. He uh, said he doesn't need one. Um, <laughs> someone told him to get some something fixed on him, some kind of yeah, like a, like a GPS yeah, or something. Yeah. He's like so, no way. Yeah, no, that wasn't necessary. Um, the first few days I was anxious, but after a while, when he said he's riding with other cyclists, he'd met some really great people, and he's in a safe environment yet got eaten by a bear. Yeah, I know, <laughs> seriously. But you know what I love about the book um, is that you show up so often. You really are an inspiration to him. You are his love. You are his uh, life partner. And, and, and as you read this book and you cheer for John as he travels uh, this distance, you also feel that sort of inspiration of the connection you two have and what it means to support support the people that we love in our dreams. What was it like to ride the last stretch with him? Because tell, tell the viewers what you did, how you guys rode the last stretch. Yeah. <laughs> that's the best chapter. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is. I, it was my, that's why I stayed up to 1 a.m. <laughs> yeah, to finish that so, chapter. So well, tell me about he, it. He, uh, we've ridden the Malahat before, and he's on a heavier bike, and I'm on a light, lighter bike, so I can be a little bit faster. But that doesn't happen very often, that I'm faster than John Crouch, right? Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. So we were, I guess I can tell this part, it's in the book though. We were out not very far, and um, maybe 30 minutes, and I got a flat tire. <laughs> did you read that one? I yeah. sure did. <laughs> John did not get a flat tire the whole time yeah. in that 25 I know. kilometers. Insane. But riding with him, I feel so safe and so, he, he just gives me a great deal of inspiration and I just, I just love riding with him. He's must, a good cyclist too. It must yeah. be very emotional to cross that finish line. Oh yes, too. oh yes. I want to say congratulations to you because we all know that people who take on extraordinary things like 2,500 mile or 2,500 kilometer rides across the province, they don't do it alone. Yeah. They do it with much support and much love. Yeah. Uh, we have to take a very short break, but stay with us. When we come back, John Crouch is going to be reading from this phenomenal book and Meg Cuthberg on quilting. So stick around. Walk Victoria, Bike Victoria, Hike Victoria. You may have seen these books in a bookstore over the last decade. John Crouch is the author, local athlete who's won world events in biathlons and triathlons. When he turned 70, he decided to ride uh, uh, from Whitehorse to Victoria. That's 2,500 kilometers. He did it in 21 days to raise money for Parkinson. Tonight is the book launch of the book that he created based on his experience in this incredible journey. I stayed up till 1 o'clock in the morning reading this last night. It is a phenomenal read. Uh, if you don't believe me, listen, because just in a moment we are going to have John read from that book. But first, don't you love a beautiful quilt? Whether it's a hand-me-down or one that you have purchased yourself, they are just a labor of love. Well, Meg Cuthbert meets up with a group of women who spend time quilting together. Rearing up on his hind legs, he stood staring at me, tall, vigilant, and intimidating. His black satin fur, though dulled by the rain, rippled as he moved. He was on my side of the road, or I was on his, depending on uh, your point of view. Well, John Crouch, author of the new book, Six Highways to Home, put his own patchwork quilt together as he took 21 amazing days as he cycled across Whitehorse to Victoria, 2,500 kilometers in 21 days, and created one of the most beautiful memoirs I have ever read by a local author. It, it moved me so much that, yes, I had no sleep last night reading it. And what I loved is one of the things that always uh, sort of motivated John at the end of the day is he'd always 
always stop if he could and have a beer and chips at the end of a long cycle. And here at his book launch at Russell Books, coin beer is available for all the guests as they listen to his reading. Now we have to take a very short break, but please stay with us. When we come back, more of Six Highways to Home and we hop on a bus that's inspiring the next generation to love reading and writing. Welcome back to Go Island. We're at Russell Books tonight celebrating the book launch of John Crouch's memoir, Six Highways to Home. And we're here with one of the owners of Russell Books. You know it's my favorite bookstore. Oh, I'm so happy to hear that. That's yeah, fantastic. yeah, you know I'm in love with this place. Uh, it's, it's just one of my favorite places in the world. What does it mean to you to have and host a book launch of a local author like John Crouch? Oh, I, I honestly feel honored. Uh, John Crouch has been a longtime friend. Uh, of, of myself and my family and uh, being a part of the local community he really speaks to to me and and to the people uh, that enjoy walking hiking biking anything to do with the outdoors he's uh, he's just a mecca of information and uh, I'm so happy to be able to host an event for him here at Russell Books. I reached Nat Pass at summit sign telling me I was at 1241 meters the highest point on the Stuart Cassia Highway. In the misty light, I could see the stunted conifers and low shrubs so typical of the tundra. Lower Nat Lake loomed like a mirage out of the low clouds. Do your kids like reading? Oh, yes. That's, that's, that's all I read right now, It's children. <laughs> Once my head hits the pillow after reading my kids a book, I fall asleep. So uh, oh. I'm looking forward to reading this book, and I'm, uh, I feel so honored to be able to host an event here for, for John Crow. That is awesome. Friend. Well, you know, there is a, a bus called the WOW Bus in Nanaimo that's getting the next generation excited about reading and writing. John Crouch, you're how old now? 73. What's your next adventure, sir? Oh, <laughs> well, I'm going on Friday to hike in the uh, canyons of southern Utah with three other friends. Of course you are. Yeah, for two weeks. Of course you are. Why wouldn't you? <laughs> right. Uh, pick up your copy of Six Highways to Home. It will inspire you. It will encourage you. It will make you feel like you can do anything. Thank you, John Crouch. Thank you, Karen. It's been an honor to hang out with you this last decade. You've inspired me so much. And I have to say, what a great read. I want to thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Go Island is brought to you by German Auto Import Network. Women's clothing provided by Tulip Noir. Casual designer fashions. Men's wardrobe by DG Bremner & Co. Menswear and accessories. Hair services provided by Salon J.